today I'll be showing you how to create awesome looking wallpapers. So get into Cinema 4D. I'm gonna get started. So um, first of all, you need to add a sphere. So right over here, add a sphere. I'm gonna change the segments to 60, so it's uh, a little bit more detail into it. And then we're going to duplicate this by holding Control and dragging it out of here. Then we're gonna press T on the keyboard. So A, uh, we have E R T, and the E is for position, the R is for rotation, and T is for scaling. So we're gonna scale this down to like uh, let's say 40, 40 centimeters right over here. 40. Okay. There we go. And now we're going to add this uh, second sphere into a cloner and so we're gonna drag this into the cloner the cloner you can get it uh, by going to MoGraph cloner I'm sorry if I'm going too fast sometimes but it's because I'm so used to to working with these programs that it's kinda hard to to um yeah keep on your <laughs> how do I say it uh, well yeah it doesn't matter uh, so yeah um let's change the count to 10 and the size to 350 and the other one 350 350 there we go now we have a lot of um, spheres we don't need so many but um, better that we have more than, than we have too, too few so we just drag this below and now what we want to do well let's change this to 7 because there are way too, ma too, too many so 250 let's change to 250 instead of uh, 350 okay there we go that's a little bit better Okay, so now what we want to do is um, we want to add a light to recreate the um, nice shine effect that you see on the on the other one. So drag this down right over here, and well, let's get it right over here, and then change it to an inverse vo um, volumetric and change the shadow to soft. So um, that's to do that, and then now what we want to do is add a rigid body. To both of these spheres um, because yeah that will be um, so they can collapse together so go to the cloner right click on the cloner simulation tags rigid body and on the other sphere simulation tags rigid body so and uh, now we want to add an attractor to attract these spheres to our um, big sphere so let's get it a little bit uh, higher now go to simulate particles and add a attractor and now drop the um, big sphere into the attractor so there we go and now click on the attractor and change the strength to let's say 10,000 okay and now if we play this back let's see what happened and as you can see where the attractor is in a bad position so drop this out and get the attractor right over here and drop the sphere back in okay so there we go and if we do it like this as you can see, it's pretty cool looking. So just play it back until you see something cool. So I, I think I like this one. If we render this out, you can see the, the lights over here, the volumetric. So now we want to change um, these, but um, I be better, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, now let's create some materials for this uh, for these spheres. But first, we want to add a light from the top, so we have a little bit more um, detail. So go over here and add a plane. Then just uh, hit T on the keyboard and drag it out to make it bigger and then just uh, drag it up right over here. Then um, double click over here to create a new material, double click on the material and click luminance. And that's all you have to do, close it up and just drag the luminance on your plane. And then we want to create a new material for the um, small particles. And then duplicate that and not double click on that. And then click luminance again, but now we want to add a texture, so click on the arrow and add a gradient then click on the gradient and now you'll be able to change the gradient so change the um, the colors just like I did over here so just like that okay so this is looking pretty good now we want to change it to the U to U, uh, to the V and now we have something that's looking like this okay change the color to a black color okay and then go to the reflection, add a Fresnel to create some realistic uh, reflections. So Fresnel, 20% brightness and mix strength also 20%. And then for the specular, we're gonna make it like 25% big and 25% small. That's looking pretty good, I guess. 
or maybe even smaller, 20%, okay? So that's for the small spheres. And then just drop this uh, material on the cloner factor. Um, now what I want to do is um, double click again and double click on that material and uh, material and change the color to black and the specular again same settings like before so 25 25 okay it's looking pretty good even smaller 20 okay and then add in a new reflection texture for now again oh for now okay and again 20 20 okay just close this uh, down and drop this onto the sphere over here uh, the big sphere okay and it's looking pretty good and as you can see we did a little mistake you don't have to drop this material on the cloner but on the sphere itself so now all these spheres are um, yeah changed like this so now we want to add some uh, settings to the rendering so we have better quality to import into Photoshop so change the width and the height to your screen resolution so for me it's 180p and then just go to the save settings change it to um, whatever you want. I'm going to save it as a test and change it as a PNG and to edit in Photoshop so you don't have any quality loss. And then go to anti-aliasing, change it to best, and then we want to add an effect, a um, global illumination. And that's it for, for this wallpaper. So now get it on the right position, just like you want it, and then just uh, render this out. So let's see first and um, by rendering a region uh, if we like it or not and then we can render it out so I'll be back once it's done okay, okay so this is looking pretty good quality so uh, maybe a little bit more uh, reflections so double click over here and add a reflection uh, of oh we didn't even add reflections so as I said you have to check it on and then just change to 25 25 it's gonna look pretty good gonna do it once again to be sure so we can get into Photoshop and be right back okay so as you can see this is looking pretty cool so now just render it completely out by clicking over here and then it will be rendering um, so that's for my tutorial from uh, today goodbye